Uh, hey guys, just want to make a video here talking about a uh, home inspection trap, which is tile shower surrounds. And I want to make a point about uh, some, some techniques you can use in Scribeware to kind of handle this trap. Uh, so it shows a bunch of things here. So you notice I've got the little heart checked here. So let's delete this comment. I can just go to my favorites. And because I checked that heart button, I have a little list of favorites there and I can add it to it. So now this is a comment I can retrieve with the click of a button. That's nice. Uh, a couple techniques I've used in building this comment. I've been really liking the, the blue and all caps and bold uh, sort of title for the comment. Signs of moisture control problems in the tile shower enclosure. So that kind of quickly when you're reading the finished report you can see what the comments about uh, visual inspection show the uh, potential moisture control problems so now I'm going to grab my pictures for this and drag them over uh, so here are my pictures uh, the following observations were noted during inspection so we're trying to keep it simple here what did we see so let's uh, well, loose tile, I didn't see loose tile, I didn't see crack tile, but I have failing kraut, failing caulking. Uh, I didn't get high moisture meter readings. Uh, and then I got uh, seeping around the glass, water stains inside, water stains outside. So we got all of those conditions. And if you wanted to, you can add more here. You can edit and start making a bigger list, which I'll probably add to over time. But this kind of gets me going. This is a nice little text replacement. Uh, so let's read what we said now. Temporary repairs can often be made with caulking or grout sealer. Long-term repairs may necessitate tile replacement. The scope and urgency for repair depends on what the tile is mounted on and what adhesives were used to mount the tile. This is not visible to inspection. Other factors regarding the scope and urgency for a repair here include how frequently this shower area is to be used and desires for the appearance of the enclosure. Now I've used another little technique of just this bold recommendation. Recommend additional inspection by a qualified tile setter. So I'm kind of punting here uh, to alleviate my liability. <laughs> to determine an accurate scope and urgency of repair, this further evaluation could conclude a simple repair or the need for a larger project such as complete tile replacement, a significant expense. So you can see uh, my friend Charles Buell calls this anticipatory report writing. Um, you know, tile is one of the trickier things we'll deal with as an inspector. You really can't tell if there's a big deal uh, going on behind it, and you probably can't tell till you rip it all out. I've done a tile surround where I found a single cracked tile, and the tile setter came and found uh, carpenterant damage behind it. You know, and um, it turned out that the tile setter originally had used mastic not rated for wet locations, and this was in a huge master bath, and it was like a thirty thousand dollar deal from one cracked tile. So you never really know what. You know, life is like a box of chocolates with these tile and shower enclosures. So you got to kind of protect yourself, protect your clients. And you can see how I did this with rep the, the way I wrote this comment. If the tile setter comes in and is like, ah, your inspector's being an alarmist, you can just caulk it and seal it and get a bunch of years out of it. Well, you've handled that. If they come behind and say the whole thing has to come out, you've handled that. If the person buying it is like, I hate the look of this tile and this is awful and I have to do it, you've handled that. If the person buying it says, boy, I'm never going to use that shower enclosure, it's just for guests anyway, you've handled that. <laughs> so you, these are anticipating all the different things that are kind of coming behind you. And you can see that this comment took me like, uh, once I have it constructed, it's I was able to build this comment in a matter of seconds. Uh, you know, we could click open pictures, we could start adding arrows and details and some things. Um, tile. So you get, you get the point. We could kind of keep going if we wanted to. But anyway, I, ho I hope this uh, video helps kind of unpack a home inspection trap as well as some various report writing techniques that you can use. Thanks for watching.